In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Welcome to our Pentecost Mass coming from the Church of St. Teresa of the Flower in Rapid City. We welcome all of you who are watching today. My brothers and sisters, we prepared for this great solemnity of the giving of the Holy Spirit through prayer and sacrifice. Let us give our hearts to the Lord now and ask forgiveness of our sins, that he may fill us with his love, life, and peace. You are the Word made flesh in the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You're Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You reign in glory, pleading for your people on earth. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory to, to God, God in, in the highest. highest. And, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. You, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Receive our, our prayer. You are seated at, at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church and every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth. And with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O oh Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit 
and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, Lord send out your spirit and, and renew the, the face of the, of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, Lord send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory, glory to you, to you Lord. Lord. on the evening of that first day of the week when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the jews jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them peace be with you when he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. And Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. May your sins be washed away in the Holy Gospel, amen. When we hear the events of the Pentecost, especially how Jesus comes through locked doors or later how he sends the Holy Spirit upon them as tongues of fire. We think of impressive fireworks and really exhilarating things. And yes, that first con Pentecost had to be spectacular, but it isn't always where we live now as a church. We live in and of the power of the Holy Spirit. And the apostles and the other Christians who are gathered there in one place together were waiting for something they couldn't have experienced before. They're waiting for the promise of the Father to be fulfilled. And they weren't alone in that room. They were most likely in the place where the apostles had eaten their last supper. And when they saw wind and flames and languages and other things happening, the proclamation of the gospel, they could say, this is the power that we first experienced today. 
But in fact, for us, it's often the very opposite. God's action in our life is almost always gentle and sometimes even hardly perceptible at first. How does St. Paul describe the action of the Spirit on the church? He said it's like the soul of a body, powerful, essential, invisible, and subtle. For us, often the Holy Spirit works quietly in our lives. Now take the example of Mary. She was most likely there in the upper room. The Bible has said that she was there waiting with the apostles for the coming of the Holy Spirit. What would she have been doing? Praying with them, obviously. But there's also time for her to be serving them. Serving them like a mother. Calming their fears. Maybe helping explain things, their confusion taking care of their nervousness. Maybe at this time she shared with them the story of the Annunciation. Maybe that hadn't been told them before by Jesus. She maybe held many conversations with them and like Mary, we can take these things that have happened in the power of the Spirit at Pentecost and we can contemplate them in our heart, hold them in our heart in a listening way. To contemplate is to go over an idea in the silence of our minds again and again, and then to converse about it with God. That's what Mary would have been doing. Becoming a spouse of the Holy Spirit didn't always bring fireworks, but it brought virtues, virtues that take root and grow. In the quiet center of the soul, this growth takes place unseen and unheard quiet and gentle, yet powerful, transforming, everlasting. That's the life of the Spirit in the church. Blessed Mother Teresa of Calcutta put it beautifully when she said, God is a friend of silence. See how nature, trees, flowers, grass grow in silence. See the moon and the stars, the sun, how they move in silence. We need silence to be able to touch souls. Not only to be in touch with our own in the intimacy of our love of God, but also to be able to reach others. To come with, to them with real discernment. To say what they need to say and do what we need to do for them, with them. In this experience, we remember that we had one command one real um, thing to do, and that is to do what God commands us. Whoever loves me, Jesus says in the gospel, whoever loves me will keep my word. And today, in the life of the church, let's profess to keep the word alive. How do we know what God's will is? By listening and by receiving the teaching of the church. Do the commandments, read the catechism. Instruct yourselves and encourage yourselves with the examples of the saints. The Holy Spirit is using all kinds of ways, including your family life and your church service to bring about the powerful gift of the Holy Spirit in most times and places. It'll be a simple and subtle nudge, but one that you hear and are aware of, because like Mary, you've pondered the life of the Gospels in your heart, and you're ready to act upon what you have received. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe, I believe in one, in one God, God, the Father, Father the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, 
true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken, spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us listen in our hearts and present to God at this time all our prayers for the church and for one another. For the church, that God will pour out the Spirit in a new and abundant way to renew all believers and strengthen us to further the mission of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the diocese, that we may manifest love, joy, peace, and all the fruits of the Spirit in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all who are graduating this spring, that God will guide them in using their gifts and talents so that they will enrich the world and spread hope and peace through their efforts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For a new bishop for the diocese, that God will send us a kind and loving shepherd to help us to continue to grow in the faith, hope, and love of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For those who are ill, that the Spirit will heal all who are suffering and give strength to all who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially Sheila Akbar, that Christ may welcome them into the eternal light and joy of God's presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, pour out your spirit upon us as we say, come, Holy Spirit, and answer all these prayers and those in our hearts through Christ, your Son and our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, the sacrifice at, your hands, at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, name for our good and, and good, the good of all his, his holy church. church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is, it is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for bringing your paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. The same Spirit the Church came to birth opened all the peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he is betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Jesus taught us to call God our Father, as so we have the courage to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, word and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke of the marvels of God. Alleluia. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given. The gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass has ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.